What's up, my movers and shakers? I'm Dave. This is MS Paints. And this is an intervention. In my short time in this hobby, I like to think I've gone through most of the crises, the syndromes, the phases associated with it. Probably. However, being in a fairly unique position in this hobby where I have a progressive degenerative disease, there's an oxymoron for you. Most of the usual external pressures that apply to people's confidence and self-doubt don't really apply to me that much anymore. Not by, not by choice. And because this little hobby of ours is my profession, any advice or motivations that I would personally give coming from me might not actually be relevant to you or useful at all. So I asked my Patreon community what they thought about the subject and as you'd expect with the MS Paints Patreon community on the Discord, they gave advice that was useful, helpful and very constructive. So here we go. Give me Yappa Pie Indian Punishment Strap number one. Your hobby ain't a job, unless it is. But if it isn't, then it's your hobby. Yeah, obviously this is a hobby, but more importantly, it's your hobby. Literally every fucker has managed to turn every shred of a leisurely activity into an upstart fucking career path over the last 20 years. And I am guilty on several accounts. Dying every 30 seconds on fucking Tomb Raider on stream is not something you need to be good at these days. Ignore the cultural shift, just do the hobby for you. Don't aspire to be the best to put it out on social media. Just do the hobby for yourself, for the sake of hobby. Simply enjoy the time you have accredited or afforded or managed to scrounge yourself to enjoy yourself. It doesn't need to be part of a cumulative goal or an end game, it just needs to be. Number two. Do something different. This is a tip I see getting thrown around quite a bit in various groups where people ask about the issue, but what the tipper generally doesn't elaborate on is what doing something different actually means. If you're painting Space Marines and you get to the point where you think, I cannot paint another one of these, I physically cannot bring myself to sit at the hobby bench anymore, and then you think to yourself, ah, cool, I'll do something different. That doesn't necessarily mean step away from batch painting and paint a single character or a vehicle or a tank or whatever, although a lot of the time that will work for people, that will work for people. But if it doesn't, trying something different might mean not actually painting anything at all. It may not even mean building. It may not even mean doing terrain or bases. It may not even mean sculpting. It may not even mean reading a book from your favorite Black Library series or doing anything tenuously connected to the hobby or the universes therein. For me, for example, it's just sticking a record on and then actually sitting on the floor with my cat for like 45 minutes. Or I'll sit on my internetless Windows 98 machine and play some Baldur's Gate. Your voice is ambrosia. Just something different. Don't fight with yourself to do a thing that you enjoy. <laughs> as silly as that sounds, uh, I have to tell myself that sometimes as well. So, yeah. What's up, guys? Tony Stefano here, back in perpetual forward motion. Ever feel like you've got a creative block that no amount of fiber in your diet can shift? Well, let me tell you something. There ain't no better way to get past the creative block with one of these prefabricated templates from squarespace.com and with near infinite combinations these templates can be customized with any colors or designs to suit your vibe and speaking of blockages squarespace encrypts all client to end user data with ssl encryption don't know what that means neither do i but what i do know is that it keeps the bad guys out and keeps your and your client data safe Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. What's that? Not enough for you? Well, Squarespace has customized domain acquisition built in. So if you finished your website and you're happy and you're proud and you should be proud, you can hop on over to the domain tab, see which names are available, how much they cost per year, and get yourself a customized domain name to suit your website. Crazy. To get started with Squarespace today, simply head on over to squarespace.com forward slash MS Paints and use the code MS Paints at checkout to get 10% off your first website subscription or domain. All right, bye now. <laughs> Number three. Underlying issues, and we got them. We, we all got them. <laughs> Stresses and external forces outside of this hobby usually have the most effect on your hobby block and you trying to do the hobby. Everything else on this list is just like a tidy little trick to get around hobby block. This one's kind of a big one, pretty big. 
And I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to deal with that because I'm just a dude on YouTube and life is extremely complicated and everyone's got a different thing and I wouldn't ever really dare to presume to tell you that that's how you deal with that so that you can comfortably paint your toy soldiers. But even identifying that that might be the issue can help take some of the burden off the hobby's shoulders. So if it's taken you a while to identify it, maybe it's not the painting and the hobby that is giving you the stress and making you unhappy. Maybe it's something else and the hobby can then go back to being your happy space. That's a tricky one. That's a deep one. <laughs> Number four. Tiny, happy little victories. Patting yourself on the back now and again goes a very long way in terms of just positive reinforcement. If you put a dude together, well done. If you primed a squad of miniatures, again, well done, that's a step somewhere. And if you just sat down with your dinner and watched a painting tutorial and thought, yeah, that's, that's something I might have a go next time I'm at the workbench. No pressure, but that's something I might try. Then, yeah, these are all just little things that you've done to take yourself a little bit further in the hobby. No matter what the project is, it usually boils down to some smaller component parts or processes, both figuratively and literally, to manifest a larger end product. That is something I noticed while I was building my first gun plackets, of all things. When I get home and I have some hobby time, that's usually dedicated to Gundam kits these days. So if I've got a half an hour slot free where the cat's gone to sleep and it's nice and quiet, uh, I'll say to myself, okay, I'm going to build the arm of this dude tonight. I've got half an hour. I can build, I can cut, I can clean, I can put together the arm on this. That's one of the key benefits of those kinds of kits is that it very organically compartmentalizes your time for you. But we're not going to talk about Gundam stuff on here anymore because people actually shit the bed and told me they were going to unsubscribe when they saw that video. So, you fucking c Give me Yappa Pie Indian Punishment Strap number five! This last tip, and probably actually the simplest but best one, prime your models. And this is something I recently started doing, and yes, it is. It is the most helpful thing you can do in terms of prep and being ready. So picture it, you get home, it's hobby time, you sit down at your desk or on the toilet or wherever you paint, and all you've got is grey models and sealed boxes. You've got to get up out of your hobby desk, go out into the freezing cold, or the blistering heat, or the arctic tundra, or the surface of Mars, or the surface of the sun, or anywhere in Stoke. You've got to set yourself up some newspaper, you've got to get the rattle can out. If you're really meticulous, you've got to warm the rattle can up with warm water. You've got to prime the models, you've got to wait 20, 25 minutes for them to cure, and then you can come back to your hobby station. At which point, I'm in the camp of, you know, fuck that. So yeah, just get a load of stuff primed, so that when you get to your hobby station, you have stuff ready where you can just pick up a paintbrush, get your water pot, do, 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 do. yeah, done. Not that fast. Honestly, having a shelf that is just full of lots of different things, of different vibes, different manufacturers, different, you know, some are 3D printed, some are just plastic kits, some are metal kits. As long as you have something for a different vibe of what you're feeling, and it's primed, and it's ready, you can just grab it, and then you can just paint it, and yeah, compartmentalized. Nice. Thank you, as always, to my amazing Patreon community. These suggestions did come directly from them. I just had some minor input and alterations in there. You guys are always fantastic for coming up for these helpful little discussions and constructive criticisms amongst each other, and it's it's just wonderful and wholesome. And of course, thank you for your ongoing support of the channel itself. Cheers. I'm out of here. And speaking of blockages, Squarespace encrypts all client that you get fuck.